you're halfway, halfway through your final year now, this is going kind to of build up to whether you're going to be able to come back or not and all that sort of stuff. So how's it played out for you so far? Oh, it's been good. Um, you know, I've, we've been winning, and that's the, was the most important part for me, you know, coming back. I don't, you know, I've done, you know, everything else, you know, within my six years. So, you know, I, I just want to win now, and it's been, it's been good so far. This summer, when you were kind of envisioning you were going to be able to come back or not? What What were you envisioning this season? Um, I knew we had a great team coming back. Uh, I knew if me and Chris Boucher got our years back, if Tyler and Dylan decided uh, to come back for their uh, junior and sophomore year, we'd be a national uh, championship contender, and that's where we are right now. Um, I think you know we're getting better every day, and you know I envisioned us being this good, you know, at this time of the year. With your next seven or eleven games on the road, schedule kind of flips for you guys. And it's been a conversation with you guys about how you know you kind of need to step it up at this point. Is that the feeling, kind of that sense of urgency that now everything's going against oh, you? Oh yeah, for sure. You know we can't just be confident in you know our home court advantage because you know we're on the road now. Um, but you know personally, I love playing on the road. You know I feel like you know teams come together, great teams come together on the road. And, you know, why not, you know, get wins on the road, you know, it shows everybody that we're a tough team. This is a tricky road trip has been recorded. Guys talk to you about kind of what, what the challenges specific to this trip. Yeah, you know, I've heard that, you know, we haven't won or something like that in Colorado, which, hey, I, I understand that's history, but, you know, this is this team this year. You know, I don't, I'm not expecting to go in there and, you know, lose. Again, in Colorado, that's just my mindset, and I think all of us have the same mindset. As, as a veteran, does a new venue do anything different for you, or is it pretty much kind of all the same? Oh, no. When you're here for six years, it's all the same to me. I play in gyms all across America, so, you know, everything's the same to me. Your shooting has been uh, pretty lights out. What's been different for you? Um, just getting the right shots. You know, I think I'm shooting the right shots now, and, you know, I finally got my rhythm back. You know, I thought, you know, right when I stepped on the court, you know, at the start of the season, it'd be there. Um, I can't lie, when I went 0 for 8 the first game, you know, I started worrying. I said, maybe I won't get it back. But, you know, I just stayed in the gym, stayed consistent with my workouts. You know, coach put the confidence in me, and, you know, I continued to, you know, be confident in my shot, and, you know, now it's just following me. Was there a game specifically where it really kind of felt like it was back? Um, no, not specifically. Um, I just felt like in the workouts I was getting my rhythm back, and you know, I think guys were starting to find me a little more, you know, once I started hitting shots. Um, and I'm just happy as far now. What was harder than that rhythm or getting chemistry with the other new, new guards? Um, I de definitely think uh, it was a rhythm, because I played with these guys last year. I know the tendencies. You know, just me getting my rhythm back. You know, the game was so sped up in my mind you know, when I first started. You now everything slowed down a lot more. And oh, it's kind of an elder statesman on this team. How has your leadership role evolved with this team this year? And does that play out in low games like what you guys are about to do? Oh, yeah. You know, it plays a big factor. You know, I think, you know, there's been a lot of guys who have been here before. But, you know, me being here for six years, you know, I know what to expect. And, you know, being on the road, you know, I'm the one who, you know, wants to attack it. Um, you know, these guys know what to expect, but, you know, Especially being, you know, this good right now, us, you know, we can't fall asleep. I, I'm gonna keep telling them that. Oh yeah, for, definitely. You know, I think, you know, my words could, you know, went a certain amount, uh, certain distance last year. But you know, with me playing in action, you know, they see it now. Your game has gotten better, and so has this team since November. What's what's improved overall for this group? Play so well. um, I think we're staying hungry. You know, I think we're not getting um, comfortable. You know, coach is on us every day. You know, he's not giving us a day off from practice. Um, so, you know, I think it's good for us to you know keep grinding it out. What's, what's the stat? Old veteran backcourt there. Some new guys in there too. What are you seeing? Just kind of quick scout of them. Oh, you know, they're a really good team. They're playing really good right now. You know, they gave uh, UCLA a tough game the other day. Um, you know, I think they're a great team, but you know, nothing that we haven't seen before, and nothing that we won't be prepared for. With folks' status kind of up in the air going into this weekend, Coach Paul's game time decision. How are you guys approaching the week of preparation, knowing that he may or may not play? Um, you know, Coach is good at what he does. You know, we're preparing. Uh, you know, if we have him, we're preparing. If we don't have him, uh, we play a lot of games without him. Uh, so we'll be, be prepared for that if he doesn't play. But, you know, it's always great to have Dylan Brooks beside you on the court. So, you know, I hope he does play. Well, Dylan, right this now. is your sixth year. Are you playing your best basketball right now, or you still got some growth? Um, I always think you get better. You know, there's you know a couple shots that you know I could be more 
I guess, focused on making. Um, you know, sometimes tend to hit a couple shots and get a little loose. Um, I think I can make some better decisions. You know, I had a few turnovers the last couple games. I you know, take care of the ball, but you know, I, I think you know, as far as my six year, I'm playing the best basketball I have to this point. But I still think I can get better. When, when did you get off the scooter? Trust your groove. Trust your groove. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, you didn't have like a ceremony like that. Yeah, I actually did. Stuff. I had to take all the stickers off of it. You know, that was a, you know, a hard time. But you know, it, it was good. You know that I, I finally got off it because I thought I was gonna have my whole you know, career on scooter. But uh, I don't even remember why I got off. I, I was on it so long. So you had some like organ stickers on it. Yeah, the organ stickers. I had crazy stickers. Everything on you know, it. You know, it was real colorful. What's the highest speed you got up to? Oh, fast. I <laughs> fell off it like three times. My girlfriend kept saying, Dylan, stop going so fast. But, you know, I got so used to it, it came second nature to me.